Akiva Eldar, who joins me now from Tel Aviv. He is a political analyst for Haaretz newspaper. Akiva, good to have you on the show. Uh, the last time I spoke with you, you had mentioned that one of the reasons that we're seeing this rise in tensions uh, uh, between the two sides is that this was sort of a, uh, the trifecta of these religious uh, holidays coinciding. Uh, with the end of Ramadan just around the corner, uh, how do you see things playing out? Uh, well, it is a combination of timing, venue, and uh, politics, which is still there. And uh, yes, Ramadan will be over, but then we are looking at another holiday. This is the Jewish National Independence Day, and then it's the Radical Rights Annual Rally, what they call the Rally of the Flags, when they insist to enter the Muslim neighborhoods in uh, East Jerusalem, and uh, to, at the same time, to uh, put to the test this government headed by uh, a prime minister who comes from the religious right. Um, Mr. Bennett is supposed to be one of them, and it will be very difficult for him to keep both sides happy, because we have, uh, on one hand, the uh, radical right and members of his own party who are breathing down his neck and insist to remind the Israeli people and the international community that the, Israel is the boss on the, on the mosque, uh, and to call it the, uh, uh, not Haram al-Sharif, but the Temple Mount. On the other hand, he's got the Islamic party headed by Mansour Abbas, who are also have they have their political interests and constraints, and for them it's Haram Sharif, and uh, they already suspended their um, uh, partnership in the in the coalition, and uh, they are very close to uh, leaving, saying goodbye to to Bennett and bringing down his government. I mean, this was always a problem with the Naftali Bennett government. I mean, the composition of the coalition. Uh, do you think it was just a matter of time before it was confronted with, uh, with a crisis like this? Yes, because you see, uh, Israel is not in the business of uh, finding a solution to this conflict, and especially on the, this uh, very fragile area in the old city. Israel is, is trying to manage this conflict. And managing a time bomb, as uh, you would agree, is something you, know, you need a magician to be able to uh, just even make sure that uh, you know it will not blow up in our face, and to put this on the back burner. Um, and uh, there are so many occasions. If it's not Ramadan, it's Passover, and if it's not Passover, it's the Independence Day. And I'm afraid that if we will not find uh, some kind of settlement for the occupation and especially to the conflict in Jerusalem, we are going to meet here again and again and just have to pray and hope that uh, it will not end with fatalities and with turning the whole Middle East, you know, to uh, one big time bomb. Akiva Adar, thank you very much for joining us here on the News Hour. I do appreciate you coming on and hearing from you. Thank you.